All right, here's a demo of the clock mode. It's set up to be quantized. You can set the end of the stage by clicking the Alt button or the Mode button and wiggling the slider. Pretty cool. You can turn off the quantizing by pressing and holding. Clicking it again. Pressing and holding. Now the light's off. Much wider range. Three steps. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Mode button, it's on morph now. I'm gonna use this second morphin module as a single CV out to show you how you can select stages with the morph. This is more like a CV processing mode the way I understand this. I'm still figuring this stuff out. Let's set the stage to end on the second stage. So now, it takes the voltage and it passes it through. You invert it like this. So you could use the output of a 281 set to loop, for example with a fast attack and slow decay. And it sounds like this. Slow it down. Speed it up. Of course you can turn the attack and decay opposite for a rising attack. Or you could invert it with the morphin. Let's go back to using this as a CV source. So you can invert it into as many stages as you want to, or convert it, excuse me. Let's make it be three stages. Let's spread them out even. Passes the CV as usual, as you'd expect. You could invert it. Now, if you leave the beginning and the end down, in the center all the way up, you have a breakpoint. Pretty cool, huh? Positive, inverted. You can make it have kind of an exponential sweep. Of course, you could apply it to as many sliders as you want to. Let's apply it to all of them, just to save some time. Make it even for a linear response. You can invert it. Something like this. You could do half inversion. Kind of like a giant set of breakpoints. You get the idea pretty cool. What if we take the output of this wave, this falling transient? It becomes a rising transient. You can hear it. Let's have some fun. Let's uh, turn it around. Split it in half. Pretty awesome. Both ways.
Pretty awesome, huh? Stage select. Four stages. So in the morph mode, it glides between each voltage um, processing stage, right? Pretty neat. All right, let's take it out. Let's put it in snap mode. Supply a CV again using the second morphin. You can see that the, the higher the voltage, it goes off to the right. All right, so here you go. Get some. Now it's a lot like a sequencer, but it's a stage selectable sequence, right? Now right now in snap mode, the little blue light's on, which means it's got quantized voltages. Can you hear them? Pretty cool. So you could dial in a, a major scale. Now it's pretty close. I need to actually calibrate my oscillators. And actually, Chris, the guy who makes these, um, says there's a setup mode. You can actually take the module out and calibrate it to your system if you need to. But it's pretty darn close right now. Let's take the 281 out. And you can see it sweeping up and down, following the wave shape. Dropping transient, rising transient. Pretty cool, huh? Once again, you can set the stage end. Right? Lots of great sequencing control here. All right, let's take it to a non-quantized. You press and hold the mode button. Click it again, see it's flashing. Press and hold, now it's unquantized. Let's take it back into this standard out. Pretty awesome. All right, let's try the strobe mode. So right now, it's running. It won't move until the CV happens. But you can hear the pitches following the speed of the clock. High speed, you barely notice it. Really slow. We could, you know, it can be short. The length can be short. It can be all eight steps. It doesn't matter. Let's do something like this so you can kind of see it. Slow it down. So it's a, it's a lot like a sample and hold. Check this out. Let's take the transient out of the 281. Pretty cool, huh? Let's speed it up. You can use a pendulum ratchet to trigger the 281 for some great effect. Right now this has been looping. I don't know, let's take it out of the sixth division of six. So there you go. It's, it's an incredible module. It's really fun to play with. Uh, you can use it to great effect for effects or melody, great rhythm changes. I really enjoy it. Thanks for listening.